Welcome back everybody, this is Droid Attic bringing you another addition to our different series that we are doing different ROMs on the Galaxy Nexus. We are using the Galaxy Nexus LTE with the extended battery. And if you haven't noticed, we are running Gummy Necks by Keyjar and Adam the Cashew. These guys have done a phenomenal job releasing this on the CDMA model, the GSM model, and the Nexus S4G. So make sure you check them out. Follow the team on Twitter. It's Kitjar31 and Adam the Cashew. These guys have done a phenomenal job with this ROM. And let's just jump right into the battery life. So right now we're sitting at about 11 hours and 43 minutes with 51% still discharging. And screen on time, we got one hour, 13 minutes. So this is just phenomenal battery. Probably one of the best pros of this ROM, uh, that the battery life is just absolutely phenomenal. We'll get into here. You can kind of see what I've been doing. Uh, Wi-Fi has been on for a little bit throughout the day, but primarily I've been using 3G today and the battery life has still been holding up strong. So just an awesome job with the battery life on this ROM. Next thing that we're gonna get into is right in the settings, the gummy settings, which is their nice little toolbox that they've thrown together. Uh, you have general UI settings, system UI tweaks, lock screen settings, LED settings, and performance. Uh, like I said, these guys have done a phenomenal job putting everything together right in here so you can add different customizations without having to flash an additional third party zip uh, or using a third party uh, app instead of, you know, you can just jump right into the settings and change different things that you want to. So general UI settings, you can enable 180 degree rotation, long press back button to kill the apps, which is really cool in case you're worried about apps running in the background. System UI tweaks, this is where a lot of things are. You can hide the alarm, custom carrier text, clock style to where you can have the clock in the middle instead of over to the far right, or just hide the clock altogether. AM, PM style, and this is actually really cool. You have different battery types. So you have several different options. You got the stock AOSP battery. We also have the gummy fat battery, which looks like that. Kind of like a squish battery with a percentage over the, the top of it. The gummy bar battery, which is what I was using before. You got circle battery, and then you can also hide the battery where you can use just battery text. Now this is actually really cool because you can change the battery text colors for whenever the battery's charging, whenever the battery is above 15% or below 15%. So really cool that you have that customization. You don't have to use a third party uh, zip file to, to flash to get different battery types or to have different settings like that. We also have the battery bar, like the My UI ROMs, so that's really cool to have that over the top as well. Getting down to the bottom, this is something new that they've just added in with their latest release. You can, uh, now this is actually old, but having the menu button in the uh, bottom here, you can have a static menu button. So whenever you're at home, you can just hit menu and you have different options come up there. But what's really cool that they just added, so we'll disable both of these. So we have, this is the regular Galaxy Nexus uh, buttons that we're used to, you have back, home, and recent apps. You can actually long press the home button, you can check that, and you'll notice that the recent apps button goes away and now we just have the search button. So you can just press home and actually use that just like you normally would the recent buttons app, or the recent uh, apps uh, button. So you can actually enable that, which is actually really cool to be able to do. Now here's another thing that's really awesome, so you don't have to use third party zips you can actually um, change the soft key color. So if I wanted to have this like a uh, pink, magenta, red style, whatever you, color you want to call that, we can just change that on the fly and you don't have to worry about flashing an additional zip file just to have those different types of colors. So that's really cool to be able to do that right in the settings right off the bat. So you can go into lock screen settings, you have enable custom apps so you can jump right into your text messages or jump right into gtalk you also have lock screen battery percentage and here's something new they just added enable volume rocker wake so we can turn the screen off and then just use the volume keys to wake up the screen and you'll notice we have the battery percentage right there as well i like that they actually put it into the toolbox like this instead of kind of forcing it on you most developers will just enable the volume uh, rocker wake to where it's basically on by default and I don't really like that because I don't like having it on just in case it's in my pocket and describes, just decides to wake the screen up. So uh, that's really cool that it's actually built into the settings. You can use it if you want to. If you don't, you don't. LED settings, you can do pulse on, pulse off duration and change the color. If you don't want to use a program like uh, Lightflow, you can just do it right into the uh, toolbox as well. And then performance, uh, instead of using a program like set CPU, you can set the max min CPU here, set the uh, scaling governor for the kernel, and then you can also change your voltage controls. Instead of, like I said, using a program like set CPU, you can just do this all from the toolbox. So a lot of different things in here to where um, you don't have to use uh, another zip file or have to use a uh, another 
type of program it's just all right in the settings for you so you don't have to hassle with finding anything else so like i said these guys have done a phenomenal job uh, with everything and one of our cons so we have the toggles up here in the notification bar um, which is actually really cool we have a 4g lte toggle which i don't see in a lot of roms today um, but you have all your standard toggles but you can't change these so you can't actually change the ones that you want to have uh, the best of my knowledge you can't change any of them so hopefully that's something that he'll release later in the future um, but like I said let's just do a quick recap here some of the pros we have awesome battery life full customization through the gummy toolbox so it's really cool to be able to do a lot of different things in the toolbox instead of using third-party programs or using zip files having to hunt those down and just trying to find them sometimes it gets to be a little bit painful the only con that we've actually seen is just the toggles um, so that's that's really the only con that we have in terms of the ROM itself. Other than that, it's an awesome ROM, very stable. Make sure you donate to these guys if you see fit. They have done a phenomenal job, and this, this work takes time. So make sure to check them out. Uh, like I said, follow them on Twitter for the latest updates. It's KitJar31 and Adam the Cashew. Both of these guys have done a phenomenal job with this ROM. And make sure you subscribe to us and follow us on Twitter as well. That's Droid Addict, and we will check you on the next ROM. Thanks, guys.